Hey, uh, do you by chance know where Romeo and Juliet is? Second row, farthest to the left. Wow, you didn't even have to look up. I spend a lot of time here, that's all. I can see why, it's pretty relaxing. I usually fall asleep in the library though, so maybe it's a bit too relaxing. I bet you prefer the courts. Yeah, wait, you know me? Don't flatter yourself. I know your type, not you specifically. Oh, so you think I'm some basic dumb jock? Something along those lines, yeah. You know, a lot of guys really aren't like that. It's not just that. Then what? Look, I don't have time for your immature games. I have lines to memorize. So if you have something to say to me, just say it. Um, I like your fur? You're new to the team, aren't you? Yeah, I made the team last week. Why? That explains it. We may as well get introduced now. I'm Liam, the openly gay theater kid that all of your teammates love to throw homophobic comments at just because they're so insecure about their masculinity. It's nice to meet you. Wait, what? You heard me. I'm... I'm not like them. <sighs> you don't need to act like some hero. I'm used to it. High school douchebags are just a part of my life, but... It'll make it all the more fun when I can laugh at them when I'm on some billboards in Hollywood and they're still working their barely above minimum wage paying jobs. It's not right though. You didn't do anything wrong. You should go though before someone sees us talking. Why does it matter though? Reputation is just- It's everything. Like, I get you're new to being the popular guy or whatever, but when you screw up your reputation, I'm sure as hell not going to be the cause of it. I'm Connor. By the way, you're an absolute idiot. Liam, wait! What? I was wondering if you could help me. What could you possibly need my help for? Romeo and Juliet, I don't really understand what's happening, and you're the only one I know who might be able to help me. I know it's kind of weird and awkward after yesterday, but- Why don't you just Google it? I tried. Then ask your teacher. She's out for the rest of the week. Friends? <sighs> Fine. What don't you get? Well, um, the language is really confusing. Like, I know it's English, but at the same time, it sounds like a whole different language. <laughs> yeah, Shakespeare's like that, but at least you're reading this and not Twelfth Night. Why? Well, you at least know the premise of Romeo and Juliet, with their heterosexual energy ruining the whole thing. <laughs> Do you think that's what poisoned them? We'll really never know, and the lack of thinking things through, like if my Prince Charming was laying on the floor, I would at least check his pulse before killing myself. Wait, I thought Juliet did die though. Not at first. That was after Romeo died. Wow, I got the story completely wrong. It's okay, I'll teach you some tricks so you can get a better idea of how to read it. Okay. Oh my god, I never realized what a purr of Romeo was. They're all kind of like that, honestly, but you think you're good for the rest? Yeah, but where are you going? Well, as much as I love explaining Shakespeare to a completely oblivious guy, I actually need to practice my lines soon if I want any chance of memorizing them and finishing my English essay tonight. I could help you. Um, why would you do that though? It's really the least I could do. You basically saved my butt for the rest of this unit in English. Yeah, but I like talking about this kind of stuff. Well, then I want to. No offense, but do you even know how to act? I was the lead in our elementary school play. Look, Connor, I really appreciate the gesture, but I really don't need your pity from what I told you yesterday. So I'm gonna go. See you around though, I guess. Wait, then can I have your number? M my what? Your number. But why would you- So if I get stuck again, I don't have to sit here and wait for you. Plus, I have practice tomorrow. Liam, I'm really not like those other guys. I promise. I'll only text you if I need help. I swear. Okay, just give me your phone. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'd be completely lost without you. Yeah, yeah. I hope your girlfriend doesn't get jealous that you're texting some theater kid instead of her, though. I wouldn't know. I don't have a girlfriend. 
I'm sorry. That's just like the funniest thing you've said all day. You probably get asked out like daily, right? You gotta. Yeah, all the guys can't believe it either. I'm just not really interested in any of them, I guess. You straights are so strange to me. Anyways, talk later then, I guess. Yeah. Liam? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Well, this is one of my friend's parties, so... Oh. Do you want a drink, or... Can't. I'm driving. I could get you something non-alcoholic. It's probably spiked, so... No, I know where he keeps some canned stuff in the basement. He'll be completely fine. Don't worry. Just wait here. I'll be right back. Here. Thanks, but... I put it in a party cup so no one would spike it or anything. It's just Sprite, though, I swear. Oh, uh, then what are you drinking? Honestly, I have no idea, but whatever it is, it's good as hell. <laughs> Don't think that was Sprite. Oh, shoot. I'm so sorry. I must have given you the wrong drink or something. Liam, I- Wow, that is really good, but it was just a sip. I'm sure it's fine. If you're sure. Are you worried about me? Well, I don't want you getting hurt. Relax. If anything, me and Elsa can just get an Uber home or something. Elsa? My younger sister. Also, the reason I'm here, aka the one who's making out with- I don't even know, some guy on your team over there? Roman. Yeah, pretty sure he beat me up once. What? What? They've left me alone now that they've realized I don't really care anymore. Still, I... I didn't realize they were... That bad? I don't get how you expect me to genuinely think that you're different from them when you still hang out with them. They're not totally bad guys. And I'm sure they're not, but that doesn't make you different. <laughs> You don't get it, Liam. I'm sure I could never understand your straight guy problems about how hard it is for you to choose which of the ten girls who asked you out today. Look, I feel bad for what they did to you. I really do. But right now, you're acting like a female dog. Sorry. I get pissy when I'm drunk. It's okay. Enjoy the rest of the party. Mm. Where the hell am I? Connor? Oh, you're awake. What... what happened last night? Well, you passed out, and I didn't want to just leave you there, so... God, I hate being such a lightweight. Wait, what about Elsa? She called you, and I said you were with me. No, but how did she get home? I think she said that she was getting an Uber or something. Okay, good. Is that all that happened? Y yep What did I say? What? I always say some really dumb crap when I'm drunk. So, what did I tell you that's making you so uncomfortable? Uh, actually... Please tell me it wasn't my embarrassing first kiss story. No one should have to hear about that. Yeah, it, it was that. Honestly, I feel bad for you. And, uh, thanks for helping me and letting me crash here for the night. Oh, it was no problem. I... And I'm really sorry for being, well, a real female dog to you ever since we met. All you've been is nice and helpful, and I've just been rude in treating you like the other guys who hurt me when you've never even said anything remotely unkind to me. That's not fair to you. You were always kind of a stick in the mud. Yeah, Elsa says I'm like that around new pets, especially... Especially... Especially? Um, never mind. You're different than those other guys, though. You're... good. And I wouldn't mind spending more time with you. That almost sounds like you're asking to be my friend. Mm, I don't know if you're quite to that level yet. Oh, so letting you sleep on my couch when you were basically passed out drunk isn't enough for you? I only got drunk because... wait... How did I get so drunk? I know I'm a lightweight, but I'm not that light. Oh, I accidentally left my drink with you when I left, and then by the time that I realized you'd already chugged the whole thing, so... This is exactly why I don't go to parties. 
Anyways, thank you, but I should really get going. I can drive you. You want to know where I live that badly? No, I'd rather just have you throw up in my car instead of some poor Uber drivers. How generous of you. <sighs> yeah, and I just want to make sure that you're okay. Um, we should get going then. Okay, the garage is this way. It's nice to see that your boyfriend finally drove you home. <sighs> We've been over this. He's not my boyfriend. He's just another straight guy who's way too hot for this universe. What? Does he hate you now that you two kissed? No, he... Wait, what? It kind of looked like he kissed you first. He what? Do you not remember this? No. Oh, well, maybe you should talk to him about it. God, no wonder he was acting so jittery this morning. How was it sleeping? Not now, Elsa. Can't you see him in the middle of a crisis? You wouldn't even know it was a crisis if it wasn't for me. Okay, true. You're the best sister ever. Now, can you please just leave? Okay, okay, but I'm just saying, Liam, maybe give the guy a chance. He does look like a walking pride flag, after all. You're just making things worse. Sorry, it's just a fact. Just go. Okay, bye. <sighs> How the hell did things get so complicated? If you really wanted to- What the actual hell, Connor? Um... Elsa told me that she saw us kissing last Look, night. Look, I can explain. I don't care. You used me for your own experimental gain. Well, I was drunk. Like, what the- That's not what happened at all. Then why else would a straight guy kiss his gay friend? Oh, was it just a prank? Liam... What? I'm... I'm not straight. Uh, oh. This is what really happened. I gotta say, I never would have expected you to be such a lightweight. Why do you even help me so much? I treat you like dirt. You're not that bad, and I think once we get closer... Like, how close? Um, Liam, you're really drunk. I think- Oh, right. I forgot. You're just another homophobic straight jock. Wait, you don't honestly think I'm homophobic, do you? All you jocks are the same, so you may as well be. <sighs> I'm different, Liam. You know, you keep saying that, but you're tall, you're sporty, you're way too hot. You seem the same to me. Uh, well, yeah, I guess physically, but I'm, I'm still different, okay? You're gonna need to do way better than that if you actually expect me to believe you. You're not gonna remember this tomorrow anyways, right? Probably not. Well, I'm gay. What? No way! What a plot twist! Okay, so now you know, so let's just- Wait, I don't believe you. Well, it's true, so I don't know what else to tell you. Prove it! How would I- Kiss me, duh. <clears throat> what? No, you're drunk, I would never- So you don't want to kiss me? No, I do, wait, no, that's, that's not what I meant. Well, I guess I'll just have to keep asking until you do. Connor. Well, I guess I was right, you're just another- Th There. Dang, you're a good kisser. C can we please just go now? Of course, my Prince Charming. God, how could he be even cuter drunk? Ugh. Focus, Connor, focus. So, uh, yeah. That's what happened. I'm actually so awful. Oh my god. W what? I basically made you come out to me just because... God, I'm so sorry, Connor. No, no, it's okay. I would have told you eventually. Yeah, but I shouldn't have assumed, and I must have made you so uncomfortable. But you didn't know, and considering how my teammates treated you, I get it. Honestly. What are you going to do about them? I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever be able to be out at school. So, are you mad? What would I be mad about? The 
kiss? Oh, that. Well, it didn't mean anything, and it's not like you actually wanted to... Connor? Well, I... Uh... What? Was it your first kiss or something? No, I... Then... I... I like you, Liam. <clears throat> what? How the hell could you like me? Of all pets, I was so- I know, I know, but I don't know. Ever since I saw you perform, I just- You've been to one of my shows? Just the one you did in the fall. One of my friends really wanted to see it, and no one else wanted to go with her, so I did. I'm not much into theater, but you were- you were really good. Thanks. Just to be clear, you mean like, like, right? Y yeah. Okay, well, I never really thought of you like that, but I also thought you were straight, so... No, no, I get it. I wasn't expecting you to feel the same, but if you ever could, I'd, I'd wait. Connor, you barely know me. I know, but I'll still wait. Okay.